Hello, and welcome to the first in a brand new series of episodes on Rybrook TV, all around EVs. And we very cleverly called it, Get EV Smart with Matt Smart. You see, because Get EV Smart and my name's Matt Smart. Anyway, let's get on with the very first episode where we're going to be taking a look at some myth busting. Let's start with the big one. EVs don't have enough range. This is probably the biggest misconception with electric cars. The average commute in the UK is around 10 miles. And well, take this Volvo C40, which we're using for today's myth busting. As an example, this has a range of around 250 miles, which means that you could do many, many, many daily commutes with this car. And the great thing is, the vast majority of people are just gonna plug these in overnight anyway, at home. So you're always gonna have a full charge and you're never really gonna do the whole 250 miles in one go. Obviously, unless you go on holiday and then you need to rely on the public charging network, which we'll get onto in a few myths time. But pretty much every single electric car on the market, whether it's the Mini Electric, right up to BMW's i440 or a Porsche Taycan, all have way more range than you're ever actually going to need. This next one actually is one of the ones that I hear more and more. With current electricity prices the way they are, surely an EV is just as expensive to run as an internal combustion engine car. Even with prices the way they are right now, it is on average 10% a year cheaper to run an electric car. Now that varies depending on whether you get to plug this car in at home or whether you have to rely on the public charging network. On that, I charge this C40 from pretty much 0%, it's about 6%, all the way up to 100% yesterday, and it cost me 38 pounds. So 38 pounds for 250 miles. If you calculate that in fuel, especially with the way fuel prices are right now at time of recording, that's actually quite a significant saving. And then even more so, if you've got solar panels at your house and so on, your car will then be charged and used with the power of Mother Nature. Thanks, Mother Nature. Up next is one that I hear quite a bit. EVs are slow and boring. You see, that's just simply not true. Take this C40, for example. We've got 400 horsepower, motor on the front, motor on the back, and not to 60 is just a smidge under five seconds. And well, if you've ever accelerated an electric car, you'll know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, this is what it feels like. Plant the throttle. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh. And it's not only in a straight line that electric cars are really great. This car, even though it's big, high, it drives so well around the corners, it grips, steers, rides incredibly well. And it's also very comfortable. So it's everything all in one. But most of all, it's absolutely not slow and absolutely not boring. What about this next one? The infrastructure just isn't good enough. The infrastructure isn't perfect yet. However, there are still over 13,000 public chargers around the UK, and they can be found either using the satellite navigation in most electric cars or by using the ZapMap app. Now, you can find chargers, whether they're available, whether they are taken, whether they're working or not, all around the UK. Now, this one, the Genie Point, is 50 kilowatts, so it can charge a car like this, the C40, from around 0% to 80% in around two and a half, three hours. So you can literally go and do your shopping. Most of the charging points are at either retail parks, service stations, or supermarkets. So there's always something to do while you're waiting for your car to charge. And finally, our fifth myth of today. The national grid will just explode. Even if 
the 30 million cars in the UK changed from petrol and diesel to electric, the national grid would only need another 10% of power pumped into it to cope. So that myth, I don't actually know where it came from, but consider it busted. Thank you guys ever so much for watching our very first episode of Get EV Smart with Matt Smart. If there's anything you'd like to know, please leave a comment below and we will answer pretty much everything in the best we possibly can. Now this is the first episode. Please make sure you like this channel and subscribe for plenty more content to come and let us know what you'd like to see with the current range of EVs. Obviously there's gonna be even more coming very, very soon and we will feature every single new one as soon as we get it on the channel.